Now in this question genetic drift operates in, now genetic drift is a evolutionary mechanism where a chance event in a small isolated population can lead to loss of certain alleles and fixing of some non-adaptive or neutral alleles. So the effect of the genetic drift can be seen only in a small population because in a large population still some representation of different alleles will be left. So here it is a direct option available small isolated population and that is our correct answer. So let us move on to the next question 167. Now in a hardy Wienberg equation the frequency of heterozygous individuals. Now according to hardy Wienberg equation the alleles in a population if one is a dominant allele and the other is a recessive allele but their sum total is always taken as 1. But if we take the equation for the genotypes and we know that the genotypes are in pair, the alleles are in pair in the genotype. So we square this equation and we get p square plus 2 p q plus q square is 1. Where p square is representing homozygous this is heterozygous and this is homozygous recessive. So here it is the 2 p q which is the heterozygous individuals and this is our correct answer that is option number 2. So we can move on to the next question 168. Now in this question 168 we have to select the correct sequence of chronological order in the human evolution. So in this the four hominids which are given here Ramapithecus, Australopithecus, Homo habilis and Homo erectus. Out of this Ramapithecus is the oldest existing around 15 million years ago, Australopithecus between 4 to 2 million years ago and around 2 million years ago there was the Homo habilis and finally coming later around 1.5 million years the Homo erectus. So if we see the sequence it is the second one where we find the correct sequence starting from the earliest to the recent. So our best answer is option 2. Now moving on to the next question 169. Now this is again a question from evolution where we have to select the correct sequence of the events during the origin of life. Now here the four sequences are given formation of protobionts, protobionts were cell like structures which did not had the nucleotides still in them that is they did not have the ability to replicate. They might have been having proteins, carbohydrates and lipids but not DNA or RNA and then synthesis of organic monomers. So certainly this was the first thing that occurred. Then these monomers combined to form polymers and these polymers aggregated to form the protobionts. And once the protobionts were formed, they acquired the ability to replicate by the origin of the genetic material. So our choice here is. 2, 3, 1 and 4 that is given in option number 3. So our answer is 3. So let us move on to the next question 170. 